Here's an interesting app called Vega AI uh, chat app. So at the moment, there are a bunch of these uh, chat GPT apps out there because it seems like OpenAI still don't have native iOS or Android app. So yeah, there are a lot of alternatives. Uh, and yeah, you can just find them in the, in the app store. So there you have it. Um, ask Vega to write anything and get instant answers. Chat with the most advanced AI. Ask anything. Here are some ideas. You can ask Vega to write for you. Get instant answers. Get creative. Chat about any topic. And then, yeah, you can just open it up. But I would also suggest just be careful with a lot of these apps. There are a lot of like low quality apps just using, you know, open uh, API just quickly made. But some of them are pretty good actually, and if you you know you prefer using an app uh, compared to using OpenAI in the browser, then just definitely use the app. But for example, this app just even doesn't load for me. I don't know why. So let's just restart it. Okay, it's loaded from the second time. Powered by GPT 3.5, it's pretty cool. Uh, and then just tap next. And then, yeah, you can just uh, write some message. Uh, you can see some ideas here. And then you can just add all of these prompts and um, uh yeah so something like that you can just try it and then you will see the reply of course it's kind of uh you know there is a bit slower speed if you want to get all of this faster you will need to upgrade to chat gpt plus on their website that's like 20 dollars per month but here yeah i think if it's the same you know, chat GPT model 3.5, that's actually the same, you know, as using the OpenAI app. However, if you're using OpenAI chat GPT professional, you will have faster access to newer models. Maybe there is already 3.6, maybe there is chat GPT 4 version, which obviously won't be available faster in these apps. So, So let's see. So yeah, <laughs> you can see stuff like that, it's pretty cool. So now you can allow also notifications, you can see some suggestions. Uh, uh, you can see some settings. Um, um, yeah, you, you don't even need to create an account. You can just read more about the, the developer. Uh, and yeah, so that's the idea. Hope this is helpful and yeah, thank you for watching.